you know, we're obviously we're going to have to wait, you know, to go through the permitting process to to be able to drill a depth. The experts are very excited on uh, on the project. So talking lithium here with Judson and Rover Metals, we've got some news on surface samples. You're also looking at uh, DLE research partnerships and some news on ESG. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. So good timing for a corporate update. First week back, kids back in school here in North America. First week back from summer, we just announced, you know, the, obviously the hiring of our new clay geologist. He's got a specialty in claystone lithium. He lives in Reno, Nevada, seven years of experience. He's worked at the U.S. Geological Survey, has partners and, and his network includes professors, DLE research companies in the United States. First week of August, uh, we took James and Graffia, our Reno lithium geolog geologist, we took him to site. He started a mapping of the Let's Go Lithium project. We did a systematic surf surface sampling program. Uh, we were able to both confirm and expand upon high grade lithium at surface results. So that's the good news. And yeah, I mean, with James's involvement, uh, you know, he's going to be working with me as you'd mentioned, we're, we're seeking DLE uh, partners. So we did take an abundance of surface samples so that we had enough clay to essentially send to DLE researchers um, and have them, you know, start to work with us on the processing technology. And um, so that was a big win, um, you know, from, from work we did this summer. And, you know, we're also really close to finalizing our environmental consulting firm to do the permitting work we need to get through, you know, the environmental studies and the hydrology studies um, in order to, you know, really take our project and location to the next level. So, And just to explain that for the audience there, uh, you have a permit in place right now and there are different levels of permit in Nevada. So depending on what zone you're in and what kind of mining activity and exploration activity you are going uh, about, you need different levels of permit. Yeah, that's right, exactly. So we're going for, you know, roughly 10 acres of disturbance, which is a more advanced level permit. And you also mentioned the DLE research partners, very hot uh, topic, direct lithium extraction, and very important also for uh, mining lithium in a sustainable, uh, environmentally frame, more friendly uh, process. What partners are you reaching out to? What partners do you have on your shortlist right now, Judson? Well, right now we're just starting the process. So we've, we've shortlisted our environmental consulting firm, but we have not shortlisted our DLE partners. That'll be something that we work on primarily in Q4 of this year. So Anybody listening would appreciate an inbound uh, if you're interested in, in, you know, partnering with Rover Metals, you know, go to our website, go to the contact us page and get in touch. And those emails come straight to me. So and just some perhaps we can also dive real quickly into those uh, surface samples that uh, were released to the public. Uh, can you perhaps put those figures into context? Because they're quite high, but parts per million doesn't sound that high. Yeah, no, that's. For sure. Let's look at the different types of lithium that we have, right? And so for soft rock or clay, which is our deposit or our geology, 900, 1000 PPM lithium for soft rock is considered high grade. You know, it's a much cheaper process than hard rock, you know, um, lithium mining. So for us, if we're getting 900, 1000 PPM right at surface, like I'm talking, you'll, you know, you can look at the photo we put in our news release that's literally right at surface. I mean, we, we used a, um, you know, a pickaxe to maybe pull back a half a foot of topsoil and clay um, to grab that sample, but you know, that's still at surface. And what's, it's well known within these clay deposits that the highest grade is below surface because at surface you have rain, sun, oxidization that dilutes the, the grade of, of the lithium. So, you know, this is a really good indicator of what we have at depth and, you know, we're obviously we're going to have to wait, you know, to go through the permitting process to to be able to drill at depth. The experts are very excited on uh, on the project. So that sounds excellent. And on the DLE uh, research partnerships, 
One of the favorites on our side that we're looking at is EcoSolve out of Australia. We've just uh, also discussed today that Australian companies are very active in Canada and uh, in the US. So uh, would a company from Australia also be high on your preference list? And, you know, honestly, I think it's a DLE. If they've got a presence in Canada, the United States, you know, geographically, I mean, the technology and the research, you know, it can be done anywhere. So you know, we could ship those samples internationally, so I don't see why not.